Hello everybody, this is Ahura. Today we're playing Universe Sandbox. I thought we were going to play Feed and Grow Fish. But it looks like this is a new one and I just, I think I got a new update. Everyone, um, do you want to see what happens when you make the sun get way harder? Have you ever wondered what happens? Right now it's on 5,752k. So let's change it to 6,000. So let's just go forward in time a little. But today we're just gonna explore this, see what we can do with it. So we did a couple of years now. Let's go back to normal speed and check out F. F's average temperature didn't change by much. Remember when the collision of like a planet like the moon, the size of the moon going to the earth? Do you want to see that up close? Well, so do I. Let's see that up close. Let's go to, I think this, no, it's, what is it here? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, Launch, go back, moon. So when the moon hit it, our planet, it had a gigantic hole. Let's see its temperature. Its temperature was more than oh, a one thousand and five hundred Celsius. As you see, as the minutes go by, it gets hot. If so, after a couple days and after a couple years, it's back to normal. Sadly, it's all right again. But what if Earth went to Earth? I never tried that out. I don't know why. Let's try it. And boom. Well, it had a little atmosphere. Let's try it again. Well, it did a gigantic bomb, but it wasn't much. Let's try Mercury. Mercury is way bigger than the moon. No way, we got what just I think it's smaller actually. This is a planet nearly the size of that. So let's get Pluto. Yeah, Pluto is bigger than the moon, I think. No, it's, it's big now. Planet 9. Is it big? Oh, yes, it is big. Let's see how big this is compared to Planet 9. It does not do much. This time, Planet 9 is going to be that. And we're going to orbit there. We're going to have a new star, everybody. New. Let's make Planet 9 very hot. Its temperature, not average temperature, is gonna double 10 times. planet we're looking for what about we destroy it with yeah, where is it with a laser it's got close slow down time i'm gonna see it slow down move and dude <laughs> look at it it is alive Let's break the power of error 10 times, total power another 10 times. Well, it's bigger. Let's make it even bigger than what it was. Even big that bigger. Radius is bigger than F. And its total power is gigantic. So, we're just driving the planet boat, I guess. Let's upgrade the total power of it even more. And it's going to be the size of the sun. Can it bend this down? Total power even more. Is it going to be able to survive? It looks like it is. Somehow, it has survived it. But I don't think F is. Let's go to F. F, F. Let's see what happened to Earth right now. I think it got clubbed. And now that's what you talk 
That's what I'm talking about. It's surface temperature. It is really hot. It is going down, but it is really hot. Let's add a real sun and let's make its age way older. Let's do generation years and make it in a really old. It is a really old thing. So everybody, it looks like that's one thing on planet nine. What? Oh, there are millionaires, I forgot. And Venus. Let's upgrade the size of the sun. I want to make it a little bit bigger. Two times bigger, in fact. And also make the surface temperature two times better. That's what I'm talking about. So, it's probably going to melt everything. Let's check it out. my last thing i know my video wasn't that long but i'm a new guy okay you gotta understand as you can see now if changed there's a little bit less water and the surface temperature is more than five it's gonna it's not 500 but it's slowly going up so oh we can change its appearance realistic let's change it oh that is cool but this is better to make it normal. Oh, that is dumb. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Let's change the sun to look normal. I don't want it to look like a mega sun. I just want it to make it look normal. What about if we make it even bigger? What about that? Let's make it lighter though. It is gigantic. It's lighter but gigantic. Its surface temperature is lower now. It's very hot now. As you can see, it probably swallowed up a couple planets. Okay, I think it swallowed Mercury or something. So, let's see. Jupiter is now the closest planet to the sun. And it alone is the temperature of a very, very cold sun. Neptune, on the other hand. It's still really cold. The farthest planet is Neptune, actually. Let's speed up Neptune's speed. It's ten times it, in fact. Let's make it way faster. Oh, God. Oh, God. It just flew away. Okay, guys. I guess that's all I'm going to do. I think I broke this world enough. Um, I just wanted to say, if you guys got this and book the world click the restart button with um these click the restart and yes say restart and it goes back to the normal solar system um i hope all of you are having a good day and nobody is bullying you i hope all of you are having fun and you always accomplish something don't forget to subscribe and like it the video